everyone, I'm going to show you today the easiest way uh, to smoke on a Weber kettle uh, or in theory any kettle by using the snake method and it is the simplest thing to set up and use once you know what you're doing. So first of all what I've got is just a few briquettes um, just starting to light in a chimney starter over there and then I can actually get the, um, the Weber uh, set up ready. So, okay, so the first thing I do is I normally just empty all the briquettes in. then I will start to arrange them. Um, probably go that end first. Yeah, so you want to do two rows starting like this. And they're just leaning up on each other like this. Okay, so that'll pretty much do it. And then what's gonna happen is you're gonna tip the lit briquettes on top of this area here, and this is gonna be the starting point. So what you then wanna do is you then want another layer like that. They are, until it looks a little bit like that. So you've effectively, you're, you're three high and two deep all the way around then, and then the coals go on top there. All right, then what you wanna do is you wanna put your wood near the beginning of the smoke. These are just cuts of oak that I have acquired. They are something like that. You don't really need it over here because by the time that you're that far into the cook, it's not gonna absorb any smoke anyway. Okay, so once your coals have come up and they're lit. You want to pour them over this starter end here. And then what I tend to do is just pile them up a little bit like that. So they've got something to go at. And that basically is it. That will burn all the way around now. That'll probably burn for anywhere between eight and 12 hours. Make sure your vents are open at the bottom and the top to start with on the lid. And then you're gonna wanna adjust those depending on what temperatures you're getting. Okay, so that's what I mean. So the water tray goes in there. I tend to just fill it up from the kettle. Like that. And then when the grill goes on, your food will go on top and then the lid like that. And then you see what I mean here. So if I lift that up, the coals are on that side. The vent will be like that. And the idea is that the smoke rolls over the food like that. So you may want to turn this like that sort of as it comes round. But uh, that's roughly how it is. So I'm going to leave that to settle now and then the food will go on. Okay, so that's roughly that's roughly up to the temperature I want now. We've got some absolute monsters of some king ribs today. So I'm just gonna put them like that. Something like that. I'll probably end up moving them a little bit. Let's put a little gap in there. And then lid goes on and then we'll see those um, later on but that's going to be the end of the video so that's the uh, snake method that's how I set it up it does vary a little bit I'll probably put a little bit too much wood on because you don't need it all the way around but um, 
hope you find that useful. That really will burn for easily, easily sort of eight to 10 hours uh, or, or longer, depending on sort of conditions and things, but it's really easy to set up. You just got to keep an eye on that temperature. Um, so you're going to want to make sure that you've got a thermometer. I would um, make sure you have one that's in there that's reliable um, and you want to hover that around sort of 225, 250, something like that. But I hope you've enjoyed this one. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you soon. Thank you.